at the end of the day, we are humans, right? So we live in the society, uh, our jobs, uh, you know, our physical health, mental health. How do you feel about or uh, where do you see this uh, things are going to be? I mean, no one knows uh, exactly what is going to happen, but how do you see AI adoption actually shaping the future of workforce? Yeah, so like I said, I do see for many organizations that I work with, it, it is actually optimizing or improving productivity. Uh, I think for many organizations, though, it comes back to that culture. Like, how do you make sure that the organization uh, understands the value proposition of that pro productivity increase? It's always so uh, amusing, I think, when people say, oh, well, we saved 15 minutes of all 20,000 employees of the company. And it's like, okay, so how did you translate that into something else? Like, what were they able to do now as a result of saving the 15 minutes a day? Did you now say, okay, now there's the opportunity for you to deliver against the thought leadership or the 10X project that you haven't had time to do? And so I think lots of organizations were sort of missing that step of, oh, now we have to actually help the organization understand because otherwise they just see pieces of their current role or function <laughs> slowly slipping away as we start to automate or leverage AI to be able to do that. And so I think those organizations that are doing it really well are taking the company, the entire company and thinking about enablement, you're right. Absolutely, you know, organizations like yours that are helping us really bring up the data science capabilities and the next level of data scientists that we'll have. But how are we thinking about the business user in finance department who's been doing that same role or function for the last 25 years? That domain knowledge is invaluable, right? And being able to translate. And so how do we sit with them and understand like what are their pain points and show them that value. And I think sometimes we miss that opportunity. And so I think those organizations that are going to be able to innovate and truly transform themselves in a way that, you know, at a pace that they want to, they're going to have to think about every persona across the organization and how do they create a way that allows them to go on that transformation journey. That's a very interesting point.